I think we can all safely admit that the YouTube notification system is completely broken. I can subscribe and click the bell and do all that good stuff, but I very rarely get notified when my favorite YouTubers create new content. So I came up with a plan to use Node-RED to constantly check for new videos from my favorite YouTubers and then send me a notification when it finds them. I'll explain how I did that toward the end of this video, but there is much, much more to this story. Back in 2020, I may have spoiled YouTuber Simple Electronics' announcement that he had been sponsored by PCBWay, and it unleashed a fury of passive aggressiveness that's still being felt to this day. Hey again guys, and welcome back. My regular viewers will remember that I've been talking about using PCBWay to make some new circuit boards. And if you're not a regular viewer and simply watch another maker's channel, you may have had the surprise spoiled. I've never sent off a uh, um, circuit board to somebody like PCBWay who sponsors uh, like Simple Electronics. Or... You see, he created his very own PCB logo with PCBWay and shipped it out to all of his friends. And now I've got nine of these to send to my friends and maybe some patrons. I watched Pile of Stuff open his and make a really cool coaster. So today I'm going to be putting together this little uh, circuit board kit that uh, Simple Electronics sent me. We'll see what happens. Okay, now one thing I've learned from the internet is that if you pour this in as thin a stream as possible... It may eliminate some of the bubbles. It's not. There it is. Ta-da! And here it is doing its job. I've literally never seen Gadget Reboot more excited than when he got his. Oh, look at that. That's a nicely packaged kit. Simple Electronics made this round PCB in his channel logo. And this pattern is what you would see when you zoom into certain surface mount LEDs like this. So I got to work on creating a notification system that would light up his logo every time he released a new video and eagerly awaited the arrival of my PCB. But it never arrived. I'll be honest with you, I burned with rage. So I handled it the only way I knew how. I created a Trojan horse and put it on a thumb drive. And I put that thumb drive inside of an SDR and shipped it up to him for a mailbag video. I believe this is an SDR dongle. Um, now, you, you guys may have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this dongle is a software SDR? Yeah, software defined radio dongle. Uh, I do have two weeks uh, vacation coming up very shortly so I might put this on the short list to take a look at yeah look forward to this kind of content in the near future it took over a year but when he finally plugged it in it opened up a reverse shell from his network and allowed me to browse his files his files were surprisingly well organized so I just had to navigate around I found his personal folder and his important files and uh, had to navigate through some pretty weird stuff but eventually I got to his Gerber files and was able to grab the PCB Gerbers. I then took those Gerber files and uploaded them to my sponsor, PCB Way, where for only $5 I could get five high quality PCBs made with any Gerber file, no matter where it came from. And just in a few short days, my sponsor, PCB Way, had these boards on my desk and I was ready to get to work. So to assemble these boards, I need to pick out some LEDs. And I think I'm gonna go with the traditional red, green, and blue uh, on this one. So we've got red, got green, got blue. We'll check the colors, make sure that we like those. We're gonna go ahead and grab one of each of those. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, the other thing, thing with these clear ones, it's hard to tell which one's which. So we've got red, we're gonna keep that over to the left. Uh, we've got green, put that in the middle, and we'll do blue over on the right. This is one of the good uses for your old 2032 batteries. Good enough to uh, light these LEDs up. Now the next thing we need to do is carefully calculate the resistor values. Okay, job done. And let's put the board together. So Simple Electronics built an anti-theft device into this uh, circuit board where he uh, made the pads backwards. So you actually need to put the negative into the square hole. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then uh, I was also joking about the resistors. I'm putting 330 on the outer two and I'm putting uh, a 1K resistor on the middle green LED. 
So I awkwardly bent all of the components through the board and now I'm going to awkwardly apply too much solder paste to all of the pads. So the next step is to apply some 91% soldering fluid to the board and gently set it on fire. So your results might vary, but uh, I was left with a perfectly soldered board that all I have to do is come in here and snip the leads. There you have it. Now, I wanna take a really high level look at the software so that you can see what's going on. The key right now for me is this database. Now, you don't have to use a database. You could use a CSV file. You'd use a Google Sheet or something like that. But what I'm doing is I'm storing every new video that Simple Electronics puts out into a database. And so every single time a new video comes out, it gets listed. And then every five minutes, it is going up to YouTube and checking his channel by ID and looking for the latest videos. And if that video isn't in the database, it's going to add it to the database and then it's going to turn on the light. That at its very core is what we're doing. Now, if you think about it, though, um, once we have this list going, which we could store again in a CSV, a Google Sheet, however we want to, um, we don't have to turn on a light. We can send an email. We can tweet about it. We can send it out to MQTT. We can do anything we want with that information. I just happen to be turning on a light. Now, the real trick is figuring out the latest videos of the person. So the way you do that is you need the channel ID. If you look at this, we're going to feeds and we have this channel ID here. So in order to find that, you need to go to your favorite YouTubers page and there's a good chance they're going to have one of these clean URL names, which wouldn't work. So the way to get it is you hit videos and then you click on one of their videos and you can pause the video. And then now what you do, you come down here again and you hit the name of their channel from here. And now you're gonna get the actual ID of that channel. So that's just a little trick to get the name of it. So what you can do is you can come in here and you can change the channel um, ID to your favorite YouTubers one. And then you can say, this is Gadget Reboot. And then you can have uh, a database table for each of your favorite YouTubers. So the way it works right now, Gadget Reboot releases a new video about once every three months. The database checks to see if it already has it. If it does not, then it adds it to the database and it turns on the light. The light itself is running on a Wemos D1 Mini ESP8266 board and it's super easy. You just connect the light to pin D4. I added a 1K resistor to bring the current down to 3.5 milliamps and uh, you put in your Wi-Fi password and your SSID and upload the code and you are good to go. Once you upload the code, you will set the serial monitor to 115,200 and reset it. And you'll see that you're given the IP address of the Wemos. You're going to go back and put that in node red. So all you need to do is double click these two nodes here and put the IP address in. And then anytime Gadget Reboot releases a new video, your Simple Electronics logo will light up. And that's how it's done. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.